on YouTube, Dorito and the Lucha Cabra here with Fab 1701 Hello. and Lonesome's Garage. Hello, everybody. And today we're going to slap together the Tau Tau DBX-1. 140 cc's of mountain climbing madness here, people. Disc brakes, front and rear, high strength frame, and specialized exhaust, dirt tires, and adjustable handlebars. What do you think, Lonesome? I think it's going to be a great deal. I'm excited. This is an oil-cooled 140cc motor. Oil-cooled! You know, the cool thing is, is this thing's a lot like the DB27. Um, but it's Big Brother. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's bigger, better, faster. Let's go ahead and slap this thing together now, shall we? We shall! pin off and then we're going to put it up on our faithful bucket here and then we're going to get the uh, shock mounted we're going to go ahead and get the front tire on we're going to get the handlebars on we're going to mount the fender and hey, this is going to be easy what do you say luge i said i'd rather be going down the luge all right it could yeah i can't get my helmet on Oh, thanks, Coach. What we're going to end up doing for break-in, we're just going to check the oil level, make sure it's good to go, give her a ride, and then I'll be doing a few videos on this, like the service of it and stuff like that. All right? All right. Oh, that's a cool hairpiece. What kind is that? It's my hairpiece. After we ride this bike and we bring it in for a review, we're going to set it next to the DB27 so we can show you guys the similarities. That A lot of stuff that I'm seeing is the same. But we got bigger, better, faster. What do you think, Pam? I think so. I yeah. like the compound. The tires are soft. Soft tire. Yep. And then solid like. skid plate on it. There's a little bit of color variation. Uh, the swing arm is longer, that's for sure. Wouldn't you say? I would. Yeah. So I would say ultimately this is a little bit bigger. It's 140 cc. It's still four-speed transmission. But it, it's really, really cool. As the breakaway on the uh, shifter? Yeah, the same same breakaway shifter as the yeah. DB27 as well. Mm -hmm. And you know, the, the, the pegs are really, really sweet too. It's got the nice, I, I love these forks. These forks are really awesome. Um, you know, it, it's, it's really a nice bike. We're gonna get this thing together though real quick and we're gonna see what it really consists of. Okay guys, on this bike we're going to install the rear, rear shock. It comes assembled to the top, but when you pull it out of the crate, you have to let the rear tire swing down. That way it can go in. We'll have to lift. That was easy, just stick it in the hole! Can't get much easier now. Now we're going to get ready and go over to the front end and get that done. Do we need any Loctite on there, Lonesome? Yes, we do. Okay, so let's go ahead and get some Loctite on there so then we know we're covered. Luke. Covered in Loctite. And after he gets that tightened down, we're going to go over and put some pressure on the rear so Luch can get the front tire on. Did you want to put the fender on right now, Luch? No! Okay, well, we'll go ahead and get you on the fender anyway. Awesome! You can get the Tau Tau DBX1 and other Tau Tau products at superiorpowersports.com. Check them out. We'll leave a link in the description below. Tell them the Looch Mob sent you. Peace. Look at that, a fender. Yep. So, Looks like it goes right in there, huh? Got the fender on with a couple bolts. Lutz is getting the chain guard on. Got the shock tightened up. Got the bars on. It's pretty easy. Got a number plate. A couple of zip ties. Now we got zip ties. I'll hold all this together. No little Johnny Grass in the room. What do you think, Lonson? What do you think of this thing? I think it's simple to put together, easy to work on. Yep. And over here, we're going to go ahead and check the oil. Make sure the oil level is good to go. And I'm going to do an oil change video on this coming up pretty soon. And uh, we'll be going over that. We're going to be, we're going to try and do some fully detailed stuff that we're doing on this bike. It's the great pumpkin, Charlie Brown. It is. Good grief. This is the DB27's bigger brother. 140 cc, oil cooled, four speed. 
Looking good, feeling good, running right now. Looking good! I try to strive to be the best lucha I can every day. Wow. Really, really good looking bike here. Yeah, the tires are a little bit less aggressive than, than the DB27s are, is what I'm noticing. And, and it could be just me. I'll have to look at it once we get it out there and we ride it and everything like that. So, anyways, we're going to go ahead and get these stickers off. It's even got Looch. Look. Can you read this? I can't read. Oh, darn it. It's Tau Motor. Consumer Emissions Informed Information Tech. Hold on to it. Keep it with your paperwork. Always something good to have. Why not? Especially if you can read. Yep. So we're going to go ahead and get the rest of these stickers off and we'll get right back to you guys. All right? So let's get on with it. Shall we? We shall. That was something, huh? It just magically appeared all assembled. Yeah, that was... That was pretty neat, huh? That was along with help of Fan and, Fan and Lonesome's Garage. Okay, guys. But this is Doritos Garage. Yeah, this is my garage. So... Let's get back on this. Shall we? Ultimately, we had Lonesome. We, he slapped on the shock and got that tightened up for you. Thank you very much, Lonesome. Thanks, brother. We got the bars on from Fan and Lucha Cabre. Th thanks, brother. All right. We got it all together right now. We're going to go ahead and get some fuel in it and get this thing running. We're going to be doing a lot of reviews on this bike. We are going to take this up to Luch Mountain. First, we need to get it off Bucket. Yep. Bucket, your buddy. My buddy Bucket. Yep. Let's 86 that guy. Okay. Ready? Yep. Hey, you forgot some stickers. I wanted to keep those on there in case you got trail dust. All right. Down we go. There we go. Hey, look at that. It's almost uh, wow. uh, too big for the luge. Okay. So, what we're going to do now is we'll get those couple stickers off the front there. Pesky stickers. We'll get some fuel in it. We're going to get a kick started, see what it sounds like right here on camera. And we'll get right back with you guys. Vroom, right. vroom. Sounds good already. Welcome back, people. We're going to start abusing Dorito, so stay tuned. I bought the sticker in the sticker one. The luge one. I bought the sticker in the sticker one. Watch this. Oh, yep. I See? I throw like a girl. He throws a ball from three foot away. I bought the luge in the Dorito one. You're stupid. I know. I'm singing. Please don't sing anymore. The fan has spoken. No more singing. Well, at least from you. I can sing all I want. So we're going to get some fuel into this right now. I get got right gas so right now. Get it started. All right? Pull my finger. Okay. What the hell? I didn't... Look, this bike read Trillifarts. It was neat. Did you hear that, people? It was a Trillifart. He pulled my finger over here, and you heard it over there. Guess where you're going to smell it? Oh, that's nasty. That's the magic of Trillifarting. Farting without flapping your butt cheeks. Now, I did it without moving my butt cheeks, and you still heard it. And not only that, but you smelled it too. Ventrilla farting. Ventrilla farting. The new, the new sport for all. <laughs> I'm learning to fly out of my butt. <laughs> Ventrilla fart, go! All right, guys. So we're going to go ahead and start this thing and, and see what it sounds like, and then we're going to get ready to take it for a ride. Let's start it up here. See what it sounds like. The key is down there, people. Yeah, the key is down here. <laughs>
All right, guys, we're back. So there's the DBX one. We took it for a ride. It's really, really cool. In fact, it was so cool, I wanted to get the DB27 out and ride it by it. Um, you know, this is faster. It's really got a lot more torque. It's really, really cool. There is some differences. I love them both. What do you think, Luch? I think there's some differences, but I love them both. Fan, what do you think? They're both excellent machines, and they're great. We love them. They're both. Mechanic flies, I love them to death. Yeah. Now, the one thing about the DBX, the, the 140, is all the gears, it's four up. Neutral is all the way down. When with the DB27, it's your, your standard one down, three up. You know, instead of four up, it's a four-speed transmission. Up, but you know what? It, it's I pretty easy. I mean, you know, you're just going to go all the way up on each gear. You hit neutral on the bottom. No worries. Get, we're going to go ahead and finish this up, though, now. And we're going to get back to you guys uh, maybe in a week or two. Going to do an oil change on the DBX1. We're going to try and keep doing some comparisons between the DBX1 and the DB27. Now, Luge, he's a little dude. Okay, so as far as him riding one of these, I don't know about that. But we'll see if we can fit him on him. You'll just have to pull up to a tree stump up a Luge Mountain. I need a stepladder to get on the fleet. Yeah. <laughs> so, anyways, guys, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Don't ever forget to come back. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. You all I'd right. like to thank Fan1701 for coming out and doing these two videos with us. We had actually another video we done. And you guys keep your eye out for that as well. And I'd like to thank Lonesome's Garage. Thank you very much, my brother. You're right, brother. Thank you for coming out. You're right. Fan, really appreciate it. You're right, brother. Anyways, guys, go ahead and come on back and never forget to watch Dorito. Out of Lucha Congress. Rock on. Peace.